Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Cook with Ted PSX. Today I am uh, gonna barbecue some uh, steaks and I am also gonna barbecue some mushrooms. I'm just gonna take one out so you can see it. Some nice fine fresh mushrooms. And I also have some uh, potato wedges in uh, the oven right now. I decided not to show you uh, when I put them in because I think everyone already know how that looks. I am gonna coat the mushrooms with uh, just some uh, cooking oil and some dried herbs. And I have also made uh, white uh, no, a cold sauce for everything when it's uh, done and how I made the sauce you will see now. And for the sauce I will be using some uh, creme fraiche. This is uh, 5 deciliters or half a liter. because it's turning out to be a storm now, I think. Oh, there's the creme fraiche. And I'm just gonna fetch the lid. And now for in the sauce I have as I said, uh, creme fraiche, and I will use some salt and some white pepper, something like that. And I will also use horse radish cream. Something like that. As for a star, at least. And I will use some garlic as well. That was a big one, so I will start with that. And hey, I actually managed to peel it right in one sweep and I'm just gonna press it in Something like that, and I'm just gonna take a whip and whip it. Uh, now I have some live audience. You won't see it, but my sister's watching me from. Uh, window. Okay, she wanted salt. And luckily I was already finished with the salt. I'm just gonna have some coffee. And 
I'm gonna whip it until I get some uh, real creamy consistency. some more audience this is hey. this is Mila and no she's not my cat it's uh, my sister's and her boyfriend's cat as you can see this is I'm not at my place today. That's better. Um, now I'm just gonna. Well, actually, I think I will add some more pepper, just a little bit. A little bit I got in that the wind didn't take. Uh, 
and as you can see it it's has a very creamy and nice consistency texture or whatever you want to say and now I'm just gonna wrap it in plastic and put it in the fridge for a couple of hours so I will see you back at the grill now okay so I'm just gonna start the grill for that so while I'm waiting for that I am just gonna open this let's see if I can get a better camera angle okay And as you can see, uh, the steaks are already marinated because I'm just lazy today. I'm just gonna put them up on a plate like this because I think I will take some of the marinade and actually pour it in this one for the mushrooms so um, I forgot to bring up paper and now I think uh, the grill is hot enough to put the meat on Take my grill tongue and just put them out like this. I'm just gonna put the lid on, mix this oil around, and I have some audience again and this is Milla again hello now oh, run away I think I will watch the meat now um, yeah just gonna flip it
actually think I will take some of this oil and just put it on. Mila. Sorry about that. Damn cat. I think I'm just gonna throw the cat inside. Come on, Mila. Mila. Come on. No, before you come there. Oh, sorry about that. My sister is uh, actually in charge of the, the potatoes today. I'm not doing it myself. Just flip it one more time. Stroke some more herb oil on this side as well. It's just so it uh, will, well, actually get some more flavors in and uh, also uh, like a glaze coating. Because the oil helps. Uh, to uh, put it to, to a higher heat level and uh, caramelize the meat. And I think that I will go and get some aluminum foil while that's uh, cooking. Oh, I'm back with some aluminum foil for the meat when it's done. I will flip it once more now. And it's starting to look fine. So I think we will uh, have it on just for a couple of minutes before it's done. And when the meat is uh, done, I will just put it on a serving plate, wrap some aluminum foil around it to let it rest, and I will uh, grill the mushrooms. Oh, now we will see better what I'm doing. Sorry about that, what's the stupid cat? Flip the meat once again. if it's done. Yes, it is. Because this is uh, pork, so I am... I want it to be cooked all the way through. And now I'm just gonna put them up.
And now I will just take some aluminum foil and wrap it, as I said before. That will do. Yes. And now you, some of you might wonder why I'm wrapping it in foil. Well, I wanted to keep the heat in and I also want the meat to rest for a bit so it won't release all the juices when I'm cutting it later on. And now I'm gonna take the mushrooms. Hey, what's not quite dead yet? And take out my grill oil and just put some on like this and put it on the grill. Last ones. And now, while they're on the barbecue, I'm just gonna add some more of the oil on top, like this. So uh, now I think it's already time to start the flip them. Yes, look at that. Add some more oil. And I fucking love this song. If you don't know from which, which game it is, it's from uh, Silent Hill. And I will put the lid down. And I am actually gonna go fetch yet another serving tray for the mushrooms.
I'm sorry about that. And I'm just gonna add the last of the oil. So now the bowl is empty. Put the lid back. And as you can see, as I uh, put more oil on, I'm just gonna turn them over one more time. But they don't have to be as long now. Just one more minute, something like that. I think they're ready now. Yep, they're soft. <laughs> Almost uh, well, bouncy. And that means they're ready. And I will turn the gas off. Before I will, as I said, I turned the gas off before I turn the, the burners off because uh, I don't want any gas to be uh, still between uh, the tank and the burners. And now I'm wondering what happened to the music. But, uh, well, at least uh, that's that, and I am uh, just gonna wrap some aluminum foil around the mushrooms, because I don't think the potatoes are really done yet. And uh, well, that's that. I am gonna post a picture of the of the platings when this is uh, when the potatoes are done. So I will uh, thank you for watching this time, and I hope you enjoyed. And I also hope you hope to see you next time. Bye bye.